Get a shot of the charge, Marty. Ready, boss? Let's go! Great, great stuff. Stay with him, Marty. Stay with him. There's the victim. Get a shot. There's nothing we can do. We're with Inside Crime. We're taping this for TV. But you can't just stand there. It's the law. We can't intervene. Besides, believe me, we'll compensate you for your trouble. Ah! Uh, hey, boss, let's have some fun. Get a shot no, please morning. don't, Fantastic. Mr. DeBracy. You animal, let her go. Oh, you should talk. We will, if you will. All right, you win. <laughs> All right now. The carbon 16s. Which ones? Get a shot of oh, the diamonds. Beautiful. Yeah. For all you folks out there in TV land, you are watching a pro at work. There is one crucial element in a successful crime, and that is surprise. <laughs> You are under arrest. Oh, yeah? Says who? Okay, boys. Let's show this freak what we do with scrap metal. Morgan. That's right, Robo Klutz. I'm back and on prime time. He's coming after us, Bob. Oh, yeah, but he can't catch us. Move it! Every trick for himself! Keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Okay, keep up with me. Come on, Marty. Come on, let's go, let's go. I hope you're getting all this. This is going to be great stuff. Great stuff. interfered with a police action. We have every right to be here. Officer, I'm with Inside Crime and I'm pressing charges. Arrest that robot! Go ahead and shock the flat line and let's quit. Okay, everybody, clear! Officer Alex Murphy shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you.
tonight. Notorious killer and prison escapee William Ray Puntface Morgan challenges RoboCop as we take you Inside Crime. Your host, Rochelle Carney. Every week, our Inside Crime cameras capture real crimes while they're being committed so that we can show you, the public, the brutal reality of the criminal world. We don't glamorize crime. We reveal it for what it is. To protect the identities of our featured felons, we insisted that they all be masked. However, this week, a criminal was accidentally unmasked. Despite this, in our belief that our viewers have a right to know, we are running the show uncut. For that is how it was. Later, you'll meet our special guest victims, diamond merchant Henrik de Bracy and his loyal secretary, Miss Maypole. Back after this. Okay, that was from last night's edition of the controversial series Inside Crime. What's on your mind, Detective Lisa Madigan? Rochelle Carney says her show performs a public service. Oh, we'll talk about hypocrisy. She's sorry. Pudface Morgan exposed himself in front of millions of viewers, but she uses him to plug the show. Why not? The crime was reported on every media break with Pudface Morgan's name. Yeah, you made sure of that, didn't you? Well, who unmasked Pudface anyway? If RoboCop hadn't have intervened... What are you talking... He was doing his job, and you and your buddy interfered with an arrest. If you check the statutes, Sergeant, you'd find the Supreme Court ruled in Murdoch versus Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all about the freedom of press access laws. Then why complain? If anyone committed a crime, it was RoboCop. He totally ignored our safety. Marty here was almost killed. RoboCop saved his life. Yes, and gave him one of the worst cases of whiplash the doctor has ever seen. Okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Who show is this anyway, huh? <laughs> okay, Mac McAdam, you're saying that you and your partner here, Marty Flan, had no idea that you were with fugitive killer Pudface Morgan? None at all. The notification for the crime came in the usual way over the confidential crime line. It's totally anonymous. Yeah, and we're not even allowed to monitor that line. That is the law, Sergeant. All you care about is exploiting a depraved interest in violence. <sighs> I resent that. Okay, all right. Speaking of violence, let's meet a guy who knows a thing or two about that particular subject. Welcome now, if you will, RoboCop. <laughs> They love the big guy, don't they? You can take that to the bank, Chief. The numbers for last night's show. Woohoo! We're talking anabolic. We're talking obliteration time. You think it's Robocop? What else? Oh, we should give Pudface some of the credit. Because after all, in his own crude way, he's quite a showman himself. You know, she's got something there, Chief. If I've learned one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, in my previous position here, it's that Pudface Morgan and Robocop are PR magic. No one enjoys success more than I do, Aubrey. But let's face it, those police officers are right. OCP media should not be seen as providing a forum for criminal maniacs. It's bad for business. Oh, I, I, I agree. So do I. It was just one of those unforeseen things. The alarms went off, Robocop responded, and we got lucky to the tune of 68 share. <laughs> but the question is, how do we follow it up? I mean, without actual... Manipulation? Now, careful, Aubrey, if there were ever any hint of... No, no, of course not. It's unthinkable, definitely not. Robocop certainly has star quality. No doubt about it. Who knows? We may get lucky again. No, the chairman just loves what you're doing with Inside Crime, Miss Carney. So do I. I appreciate that, Mr. Fox. Thank you. Oh, God, Rochelle! I thought it'd explode. Oh, you don't know what it does to me when you talk ratings. The higher the share, the more I've got to... I know, I know, I feel the same way. Of course you do. We can't pretend with each other. 
You've been so good to me, Aubrey. Oh, you make it easy, baby. I just want the show to be a hit. But it is. It is. I knew when you first came to me that you'd be the one to pull it off. A woman like you, with your fire, no one's safe. Not even me. You say the nicest things. Oh, you make it easy, baby. You make it easy, baby. Oh, baby. Well, it certainly looks impressive. Say that again. It's a prototype for a new generation of armored vehicles. The timing could hardly be better. Is the goal coming in on schedule? Straight through from Siberia. The largest shipment of bullion ever attempted by the Delta City Bank. Or any bank, for that matter. A billion big ones. I guess so. And you say the car is hijack proof? Super steel plating is impenetrable. Except for maybe a carbon-16 drill. No, not even that. What's carbon-16? A synthetic diamond. The hardest substance in the world. The point is, a set of the diamonds was lifted by Pudface Morgan the other night. I saw that on Inside Crime. Well, I was just scanning the dial. Yeah, well, if he went to the trouble of stealing them, we gotta figure he'll use them. You mean? Exactly. Just let him try it. Yes. Let him try. Call a guard. Ain't no guards down here. Only me. So, how was the rating? You should read the trades. Who's got time to read? Well, it's more than numbers, it's demographics. We scored highest among young males, teens, and kids. Oh, ain't that sweet. They want a role model. Well, a lot of them are RoboCop fans. What? The rest of them are with you. By the way, you improvised brilliantly. Oh, you like that? Losing the mask was an inspiration. Yeah, I thought that was a nice touch. It really made the show, and it primed the public for a rematch. What do you say? We don't want to disappoint our public, do we? Not if we can help it. <laughs> no, she's here. I don't want to do no, it. No, I'm serious. Right over there. Take a look. She's coming in now. Isn't it? That's a TV show. It's a TV show. What's she doing? Plastic. Oh, here. Excuse me. Hey, let me get that. Miss Cardi, could I, could, I, uh, could I have your autograph? Thank you so much. I just want us to get along, Lisa. May I call you Lisa? Why not? I don't see why there should be all this hostility. You know, after all, we all answer to the man upstairs. The chairman. <laughs> and I'm sure he would like us to resolve our differences. Which is why I want to arrange a meeting. A lunch, perhaps. Strictly informal. <laughs> And this way, we can air our problems in a more civilized way. I think that would be swell. See? We're cooperating already. Oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you, you were just too fabulous on the Umberto Ortega show. I just love it when a woman stands up to all these. Well, you know. I didn't really see it as a gender issue. Oh, believe me, everything's a gender issue. It's him. Oh, I, I've never actually seen him in the flesh. <laughs> Robo. This is Rochelle Carney of Inside Crime.
How do you do, ma'am? I was just telling Lisa that I hope that we can work together from now on. All good citizens should work together to combat crime. Well put. And so true. <laughs> I must go. Somewhere there's a crime happening. Well, I hope we meet again. Soon. <laughs> it's funny. I almost said he's quite a man. You don't know the half of it. Thank you for calling the confidential crime line. Please leave a message. We're going to a party tonight. Thought you boys might want to join us. Could be something special. <laughs> and this is... This is our dispatch center where we track all our patrol units. I can put it up here for you if you'd like. Okay, the lights indicate the position of each unit, color-coded to status, yellow for operational, green for active. It's fascinating. Is Robocop included? He's that yellow light in Zone 7. Although, you know, he doesn't act like most units. He sort of freelances, does his own thing, just goes after what he can get to, like the other night. Indeed. Well, it's been fun. Thank you so much for your hospitality. I'll be in touch with you about that lunch. Drive carefully. What's happening, Mac? Trouble. I got a crime line call from Putface Morgan. I recognize his voice. Well, after what we went through. Never mind that. Do what he wants. But it's against the rules. I need the rules. Remember? Go. Yeah? He's in zone seven. Got it. Thanks, babe. Break a leg. business here this Oof. got the dropsy <laughs> hi we're with inside crime grab some sky gentlemen hey short show our host here a good time sure thing boss come on folks get in there and the rest of you guys you know what we're after move it I've got a robbery to report. That's right, a robbery in progress. <laughs> All units in Sector 7. Robbery in progress, 28th and Harwell, Omni Construction. Hurry it up! Oh, that's good. Okay, we're on our way. Let's go. Not so fast, Morgan. Who did you say? No mask can hide the ugly truth. Uh, Putt face, Morgan. Uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but trash talk can't touch me. Get them, boys! It's time we gave this show a little heat.
show this. <laughs> Get a shot of that. Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Detroit's favorite crime fighter is now buffed, polished, and back on duty. But controversy still rages as Robocop goes another round with Pudface Morgan on Inside Crime. Our lead story tonight. Well, Bo, they've done it again. Have they ever, Rocky? For the second week in a row, viewers were glued to their TV sets as Robocop and hypercriminal William Ray Pudface Morgan fought to a draw on Inside Crime. And what about those ratings? And you're telling me there was no collusion of any kind? No, sir. We're in the clear. Believe me. As much as I'd hate to admit it, Pudface Morgan just flat out fooled us. <laughs> right? Boy, do I feel stupid. <laughs> I set up that lunch with the representatives of the police. We'll have it here if that's convenient. We expect a bonus for this. You'll get it. Miss Carney, I was wondering if we could have a word. I'm afraid I'm in a hurry, Mr. Fox. It'll just take a second. Aubrey, things are moving very quickly, and we don't want to slip behind the curve now, do we? Well, uh, no, but... Uh, I'll call you. If I, if I, if I can just... Uh, Ro Rochelle! Rochelle! Under arrest. Come and get me, Robo-Klotz. Oh. Whoa. What is that? We got him at the OCP, Mark. They just came out. An all Vox voice simulator. You can get all kinds of different ones. We saw you on TV, Robocop. You and Pudface Morgan. Show this creep how we feel about scrap metal. Why would a little boy want to be Pudface Morgan? Cause he's so cool. Television has a lot to answer for. <laughs> William will be transported from the loading bay into the surveillance corridor, past the four checkpoints through the sensor scan, finally emerging in our maximum security vault. It's all diagrammed here. Yeah, well, it looks good, all right. Of course, if Morgan does try something. It won't be in this place. Nah, you can bet on that. All that nitro blast he grabbed the other day, plus, the high-speed Maxi Pierce drill, the perfect tool for a carbon 16-bit. Draw your own conclusions. It's almost as if he's telling us what he's going to do. Pudface Morgan is usually not so foolish. He's an egomaniac. It's how he gets his kicks. Perhaps. Or perhaps his real target is elsewhere. You really think so? Not a chance. Not only will he try for the armored car, he'll probably do it on TV. And those sleaze meisters from inside crime will like nothing better. Oh, God. It's state-of-the-art, Robocop. Installed when we moved in three months ago, and nothing could pierce those walls. When was the building constructed? I'm not sure. We leased the space from OCP Properties. We've done all we can to enhance security, as you've seen. Well, I still say it won't matter. Pudface is going after that car. Oh! Wow! What was that? Must be the garage. Hey, maybe it's 
that lady? Ain't you supposed to meet her? No. She was supposed to meet me. Who's the star around here anyway? Watch it. Get out. Get out. We have to get a new approach. The confidential crime line is out. The only thing I can think of is if you kidnap my crew and then you force them to go along with you on your job, whatever it is. Where are they going to be? Okay, they're going to be with me at the OCP tower covering a lunch meeting with the chairman and police officers. PR thing. Grab them when they leave. They're sniveling little cowards. They'll do whatever you say. I got a better idea. Let's grab those weasels right in front of the cops and the chairman. What? Yeah, the chairman's suspicious, right? Mm -hmm. So if we pull this off right in his face with you sitting there, What's he gonna say? You'll all be victims. Not only that, he will be so outraged he'll call in Robocop personally. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, like I said. Pod face Morgan raids the OCP tower. It's a blockbuster. Yeah, and it sweeps weak. Uh, well, I, uh, I took your advice and I, uh, read the trades. People told me you were crazy. Yeah. Well, people got a lot to learn about me. And they're gonna learn it real soon. Now relax, Mr. Forbes. Hutface Morgan can't possibly know the route we're taking. And even if he did, there's nothing he can do about it. It's just, this gold is the security for the next phase of the Delta City Renewal Program. If anything were to happen, just imagine what the chairman would do to me. Now listen to me. We've got every available officer between here and the Delta City Bank. Nobody, I mean nobody, is gonna stop this convoy. Go on. I've been watching you on television. Whoops. Not a good time, right? You are always welcome, Diana. So what's this thing with you and Pudface Morgan? A devious man who should not be underestimated. From the look of this army, I'd say you're taking him pretty seriously. Something feels wrong. He is manipulating us. The question is, why? I am so glad you could come. Well, I wouldn't have missed it. <laughs> you know, it's a shame about Sergeant Park. Oh, he's at a very important meeting. The chairman knows about it. Indeed, I do. In fact, I don't know why this wasn't rescheduled. Well, we're not all privy to the secrets of the Detroit Police Department. <laughs> Despite what some people think. Uh, we're taping a special segment for the show. See, we believe the public needs to be reassured that we're all on the same side. I see. <laughs> Data 
1 to Sergeant Parks. Beta 1 to Sergeant Parks. ETA at the Delta City Bank, 20 minutes. What I tell you, smooth as a bullet. Pretty neat, boss. The cops go one way, we go the other. That's the beauty of it, Shorty. After today, the whole world's gonna see RoboCop for what he really is. Bozo Cop. Success. <laughs> Success. Success. <laughs> and harmony. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Here, here. Mm. Oh, 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 how stupid. Just, uh, okay. Would you excuse me? <laughs> of course. Have one of your men hold the door, and you can take Mac and Marty down the same way. You see, Shorty, she thinks of everything. Yeah. You hold the door. Yeah. Well, give me time to get back before you come in. Oh, whatever you do, make it look real. What do you think, Shorty? Can we make it look real? We can try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, intrinsically. I was just telling Detective Madigan, Lisa, that Inside Crime is actually an advocate for crime prevention. And I was just telling Mr. Fox, Aubrey, that I don't believe a word of it. Neither do I, if truth be told. But what can we do? I mean, the people go for it. <laughs> oh, so what's next? Those darn vigilantes? The wacky world of mob violence? What? <laughs> you know, Chief, that's not bad. Um, now, the point is, how do we encourage crime by showing a degenerate like Pudface Morgan? Careful, Miss Connie, or you'll hurt my feelings. Pudface Morgan? Hold it, Madigan! Hand it over. If I nailed you, that would be a first for inside crime. And frankly, we don't need that because, because of my two friends, Mac and Marty here, and you, Mr. Chairman, we're gonna try something special. We're not just going on prime time. We're going on prime time live. <laughs> Beta one to Sergeant Parks, ETA at the Delta City Bank. Five minutes. Robo, we've got a problem. You want it on video mode, quick. Welcome to Inside Crime. Yeah, it's me, Robo Jerk, and I've got some friends of yours. If you want to see him again, it's real simple. All you gotta do is hand over that bundle of goodies that you're about to deposit in the Delta City Bank. That's right, big guy. A cool billion. <laughs> and just to keep you honest, we're gonna stay on the air, live, until you get here. <laughs> Should be a fun show. <laughs> Tell the truth, Tin Man. You knew I was going to get that gold one way or another. You know you did. <laughs> knew we couldn't beat this car, so he set us up. While we empty the precincts, he strolls into OCP, bags the chairman and Madigan. I should have seen it coming. But you're not gonna pay the ransom. Not on your life. If he thinks he can get away with this, he's loonier than I figured. Let's go, man, OCP Towers! But the gold! I'll leave a SWAT team with you, you two. Wilcox? Grab some sky, big boy. Come on, stretch him, or I'll let you have it. You should be in school. School's for losers, tin man. 
Fire! <laughs> Let's move, Robo. Media Central. Gotcha. I'm on my way. You know, since I've been doing these guest spots for Inside Crime, I get a lot of mail. Anonymous, of course, asking me, Pudface, how can I get to be such a great criminal like you? Well, kids, you can't, because I'm unique. But for all you young lawbreakers out there, success in crime can be summed up in just three words. Practice, practice, practice. What? What happened? It's not us. I, I, I... It's a transmission problem. Oh, it's back. Wait a minute. That was me half an hour ago. What's going on here? I, 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 I want I, some answers. They've obviously put you on tape delay. Meaning what? Meaning they're as tired of your hot air as we are. Oh, sister, you are right on the edge. And you're way over it, pal. I smell a double cross. Say it ain't so, Ms. Carney. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no. Well, hear this. You got us into this place, and if anything goes wrong, you're getting us out. What does he mean? Rochelle? Oh, well, he's lying. Can't, 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 you see? I, I, I met with him, obviously, but I, I never thought... I, I mean, he, I never thought it'd come to this. He double-crossed me. He was supposed to kidnap the crew. What? See, it was gonna be a show, just like always. Believe me, it was. You mean all those shows were fixed? No. Absolutely and unequivocally... I didn't know anything about this, Chief. I am surprised as you are. No, you didn't know. You didn't want to know. Just as long as we had the numbers. Leave all the dirty work to me, right? You even got a little bit on the side. What? But that's preposterous. What does she mean, a little bit on the side? I have always had the utmost respect for all of our fine female employees. All right, Aubrey. I've heard enough. You're reassigned. No, not back to PR, please. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. And as for you... You'll get my resignation in the morning. Will you people knock it off? You can all resign from the world right now. Talk is cheap, Morgan. <laughs> can you back it up? <laughs> nice going. We got him. Guess again, flat foot. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> One step closer and she's history. <gasps> How dare you put your bully hands on me? Michelle, come on, shoot! Stop! Michelle, he's not worth it. I hate men. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. How about that? The master criminal taken down by a woman. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Well, I'd say it's a good job all around. I agree. Hudface Morgan is finished. Not quite. What? How did he? With this, a voice simulator. But then where's Pudface? Showtime. Hey, it ain't so. 
Miss Carney. <laughs> nice delivery, Shorty. Just as I wrote. <laughs> is delayed, so you would not be alarmed. How'd you figure that out? I was so smart. Not smart enough. Let me, let me go! It's what you wanted, Morgan, to be on TV. week at this time, Inside Crime will not be seen. Watch for the premiere of the wacky new live-action fun fest, Those Darn Vigilantes. In the heart of the darkness, the light still burns. It takes you back there to a memory of love. In the heart of the darkness, the light still burns. 